for Modular 4 application Disasters in Space, I focused on space pollution and the effects of the pollution in the atmosphere and the surrounding area uh, around Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Brevard County, Florida. I looked at specifically the effluent coming from the space shuttle launches and the solid rocket boosters that were used. In the time that the space shuttle was functional, starting in February 1981, through July 2011, there were 135 launches. Out of those 135 launches, each had two solid rocket boosters, and all but four of those were recovered, reevaluated, and reused. The solid rocket boosters on the Space Shuttle uh, program were each, each used. Um, propellant mixture of atomized aluminum powder, ammonium perchlorate, iron oxide powder, polybutanine, acid, uh, acrylic acid, acrolein, and epoxy curing agent. These were the thrust needed to get the space shuttle from the surface of the Earth into the atmosphere so that way it could enter low Earth orbit. In brainstorming, I was thinking, what ways could we reduce the impact of the atmosphere? Um, the launches to the atmosphere around Brevard County and also the um, environment surrounding Cape Canaveral. I brainstormed changing the fuel source, cost changing something to more cost effective, changing the catalyst used, changing the launch site, using reusable rockets, changing the propell propellant, um, changing the binder used because it is a solid rocket booster. Um, three of the things that I looked into one was changing the oxidizer and the propellant. I looked at the research done by Huang and Permanganate in 1976. Um, the difference between using ammonium nitrate and ammonium perchlorate as the oxidizer and the effects of the level of NO gas in the surrounding areas in the atmosphere around, um, around Cape Canaveral. And they found that uh, for both propellants, the ratio of the deposition rates of NO gases to total chlorine containing species was negligibly small. It seems as though the evolution of the rockets has moved to what SpaceX is using for their um, for their Falcon rockets. They're using a mixture of uh, a refined kerosene and liquid oxygen as their propellant, and also what ULA is using for their Delta rockets. They're using uh, a liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen mixture. My possible solution to this would be maybe a mixture of both in the different stages of the rocket. So using um, a smaller amount of the refined kerosene and, and liquid oxygen to get the initial thrust, and then once it's in space to use a mixture with the liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen, because you don't need as much power. Uh, once you're in space, you don't have to break gravity. I also looked at the impact on the surrounding flora and fauna and the uh, research done by Audi et al. in 1999 uh, about specifically the scrub jay impact, the southeast, uh, southeastern beach mouse and water birds and gopher tortoises, which are all common in the area of Brevard, Florida, where we're from. And it seemed like over the time, the period in time there, they did the research from 1995 through 1998 that there were no um, discernible impacts from the launches on those specific species. So all in all, um, launches I think need to continue. I am in favor and in support of the space program and living in the Space Coast, being resident of the Space Coast in Florida, it is a valuable, um, important, important part of our society there. So I really am in support of it.